Hey guys, this is Dark Torian with another mage guide. I did a mage guide on the 5.4 PTR as to check out on the PTR what I thought was best, how it worked out, and what I thought in reforging and uh, specking was best. And that was on the PTR. We're almost a month since the game came out. I made that on uh, about somewhere in September. It was around 11 September, but it's now 9 October. It was just a couple of weeks before the game released, but we're a month in now. We're almost a month in the in the live version, and I thought it was time to do a mage guide right now, since all the tweaking and all the stuff has been done by Blizzard. They had uh, enough time. So I wanted to go over the Frost Mage once more. Um... First thing I want to talk about is the reforge. Now, according to uh, Ask Mr. Robot, what which I have seen a lot of mages are using it, and don't get me wrong, Ask Mr. Robot is normally pretty good. It's a really good um, way to reforge and optimize your character. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I use it on my blood uh, DK, which is my main, and for that, for my death knight, it works miracles. It's really good. It's helping me keeping things checked and balanced. And uh, I even use a reforge item because it's much more precise than if I do it myself. But um, as Mr. Robot has as a main stat of as reforge priority, it has haste crit mastery for frost. And I'm sorry to tell you guys, but it's wrong. It couldn't be more wrong. It's really not the way to go. Um, I've checked out uh, mages. I checked out uh, the Ask Mr. Robot spec. I got it written down here. Um, this is the mage we've been talking about. I'm borrowing this mage. This mage is uh, not my own, like you can see. Um, if you know my previous mage guide, it's not the same character, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's because my Blood Death Knight is my main, but I've played mage uh, since uh, Burning Crusade throughout Warthog and... Uh, how's it called? Cataclysm. And I'm always keeping up to date with it. I'm still having a mage alt which I play on, but it's not that good gear. It's not in top normal right now. And since I have a job, a real life, I have a 25-man guild run. I'm a GM. Uh, I don't. I barely have time for my alts, so it's not that great gear. It's actually it's shitty gear. My alt mage just can get into Siege of Arkham while looking for it. It just has f for 96 item level, and that's not the way to make a guide on because. It's not accurate enough um, to show you guys. We checked out with this mage. Is a, I'm borrowing this mage from a close friend of mine. Um, and when the patch 5.4 hit it, um, he asked me uh, how to reforge. And I said, go with Ask Mr. Robot first. Maybe I'm wrong. I did a guide on the PTR, but things could have changed. Um, so go with Ask Mr. Robot. He did that. On 11 September, we had our first raid. And my friend with the Haystrit Master respect from Ask Mr. Robot did. Uh, on Immersius, 76k. On the Fallen, Protectors, 107k. And on Norishan, 78k. And that's not good. I mean, he was geared like 525 already. Uh, item level, around that. Maybe a little bit higher, a little bit lower, I don't remember. But, that's bad DPS for such a good geared mage. And after that first raid, he whispered me. He was like, what is wrong? What? Um, why is it going so bad? Because I did more DPS on 5.3. And I said, well, apparently Osmus Robot is wrong. Let's try my reforge. Um, like we did on the guy on 5.4. And uh, let's see if it works. And we did that. And on Immersius he went from 76k to 79 Now Immersius is a shitty way to measure because of the blobs and stuff. But the Fallen Protectors on the 11th he had 107. On the next raid he had 152k. Now that's a lot guys. That's more than 40k increase. That's actually 45k increase. 
And on um, Norris Chen, he had the for first time 78k and a second rate on Norris Chen, 156k DPS. That's double of it. That's a double amount of DPS. So, what I'm trying to say here is that the way that Ask Mr. Robot is uh, telling you to reforge as a Frostmage is wrong, and I'm gonna explain why. It's all about the mastery. Right now, mastery gives icicles like we all know. Mastery, here we go. When you damage enemies with Frostbolt and Frost Firebolt, 50% of the damage done is stored as an icicle with you for 30 seconds. Also increases the damage of your water elemental's water bolt by 50%. Up to 5 icicles can be stored at once. Casting Ice Lance causes any icicles to begin launching at the target. Mastery is what we are stacking up on this mage. Um, like you can see we're enchanting it. Enchanting Mastery. And in the yellow uh, uh, gems we're throwing orange gems with 80 intellect 160 mastery we're using 160 intellect at the red one and the purple one 80 intellect 160 hit but for the rest of it we're using mastery and chants and we're reforging to mastery right now this character has 50.38% uh, mastery that means if you shoot a frostbolt at your target 50% of the damage done get stored into an icicle. Now this is how it works. If you want the right way to reforge a frost mage, you're going for the hit cap, which is 15%. It's right there. You're going for crit cap, which is 25% for a frost mage. He's a little bit over. He could we we should reforge again. Um, keep in mind that crit does also be eff uh, be affected by intellect, means that if you get new gear, um, you have to reforge uh, more away because intellect gives crit as well. So keep an eye on that. But crit cap 25%, and then you go full into mastery. Because of the crits, uh, if you get crit to 25%, you basically have 100% uh, crit chance all the time. So that means your frost bolts and frost fire bolts do huge amounts of damage, which means that those crits will be stored in your icicle, or 50% of that crit will be stored in that icicle. So five, when you got five icicle, uh, five icicles up, you actually have two and a half frost bolts. You can launch it once. So that's the whole trick of going into mastery. Um, that's what I'm telling you. Hit cap, crit cap, mastery. And it works guys. It really is worth it. If you do that, your frost mage will go to the roof. Um, but um, We actually run into a heroic geared mage. Um, this mage right now, after a couple of raids, is now 550 item level. Um, and that's all fine, that's all good. Uh, that's pretty normal for, um, how it's called? Seat of Arkhamar, normal run. Uh, 7 out of 14 progress with this character. But we run into, uh, we were in the LFR, me and my friend, and we run into the heroic geared mage, and we could keep, uh, my friend could keep up with him. It, the heroic geared mage uh, did like 3 to 4% more damage, and he was better geared. He was way better geared than... Uh, my friend, than this mage, and he asked us like, "How can you keep up with frost, and especially with the gear you ha uh, have?" And my friend explained how he reforged, and the guy who was from a semi-pro guild and hardcore guild, he said that he, he actually complimented my friend, and he said that's actually some amazing research you did on your character. I'm going to try it out and see if it works. I think there is a lot of uh, stuff wrong about Frost Mages right now because people are going for that haste and crit instead of going for the mastery. But enough talk, I'm going to show it right now. Um, the UE is kind of crappy, uh, I know. Uh, please accept my apologies for that. But this is, like I said before, not my char. Um, so, 
I have turned all my add-ons off. I usually have LFUE, I have tell me when and all that stuff. But then it will fuck up his UE the moment he logs in and I change all the buttons and stuff. So that's kind of no uh, annoying. So I'm not going to do that. So that's why I have the standard Bliss UE with only recount up. Um, normally I have tell me when and LFUE telling me when stuff is on cooldown. Sh so I can do better DPS and control my cooldowns better. Uh, I don't have it right now, so my DPS will be a little bit affected by that, but it shouldn't be that much of an issue. So, invocation, here we go, and then I'm going to show you guys the DPS. So what you want to do right now as a Frostmite is we want to stack up 5 Icicles and then release them. Get that Frost Bomb up on the target. And then when we hit, there we go. Five icicles, get them out. That's your goal. That's your entire goal to stack it up. Because five f icicles means two and a half frost bolts. As you can see, I'm reaching 240k really, really easy. And that's without uh, buffs, at least. Um, only thing what we're using is Ice Armor and the Intellect. Now, Ice Armor, we use it because you reforge a lot into Mastery. You should go say, hey, you can use the Molten Armor to gain up more Mastery. Yes, you're right. But then we lose the amount of cast time. So... We reforge and gem into mastery, and we make up for the haste, so we don't get too slow as uh, frostbolt cast. To actually, oh, here you see, I'm fucking up because I don't have tell me when to tell when I have to evocate, and my DPS is dropping a lot because of that. But um, we're using the frost armor to have that seven percent haste increase so we don't get too slow and that's the combo you want to go for get that haste from your um, ice armor and stack up mastery for the rest of it and you will do great it's actually this DPS is really easy to maintain and I'm not playing it perfect I'm not saying I'm playing it perfect but that's because I'm really missing out my tell me when which I use on my Mates, I'm missing my elf you eat to know when my cooldowns are off, and yeah, I have to control it manually now, which I'm not, I'm just not used to it. I know it's not that good of an excuse, but like you can see, I'm gonna drag this guy away now. Like you can see, it's yeah, we just lost 10k because he's keeping costing and I don't, but like you can see, you can. Uh, Easily get 240k till 230k easy stat DPS. We just lost uh, 13k right now because the water elemental keep, uh, kept on casting and I didn't. But 240, 200, uh, 230, 240k DPS is not a problem at all. And that's just with um, Arcane Brilliance and with Frost Armor. No food burst, no flask, no anything. Now this mage can pop out like in a raid about three four hundred k easily and I mean like really easy and a burst DPS over 600 k in raids so at the start 600 k DPS and then keeping on to 300 k no problems the top DPS on this char has been uh, 500 k over one fight so it's really easy to do a high amount of damage uh, you got a good burst damage and you got a really good um, steady DPS outcome. Um, then I want to talk about one more thing and then I'm going to quit it. I'm using Frostbomb. Yes, I do. Why? Because Frostbomb, just like I said, it has a 7.97% uh, 7.97 seconds cooldown and it explodes after 3.19 uh, seconds. Means I got a Frost Firebolt uh, up almost um, almost 
almost each four seconds. Let's put it like that, give or take. So that's really good to keep your steady rotation. Now you could go for a living bomb or nether tempest. You can. Living bomb actually does more damage as a dot, but it takes longer to explode, which gives you less. Uh, frost fire bolts. Now the trick is with frost bomb. It also does damage, but it gives you more frost fire bolts. Gives you more icicles. Gives you more output damage. And for boss fights on uh, edge control, like shamans and stuff, um, it really helps out. Slows the orbs and all that kind of crap. So yeah, all good. But it's better for your single target rotation. Well, I wanted to share this guide f uh, guide f uh, with you guys for a long time. Um, didn't have time, so I'm sorry for that, uh, that I didn't make it sooner. But um, I tried all other reforges with this char. Uh, this is a really close personal friend of mine, so I have access to his account, like you can see. But um, the Ask Mr. Robot reforge is wrong right now, and please try this. Try it out, and I will promise you, you and your DPS will improve. Um, last thing I want to say is I'm gonna make some more guides. Uh, there is a disc priest guide coming up. There is a death knight uh, tanking guide coming up. So please keep an eye on my channel. If you like this guide or you have any comments about it or whatever, please uh, feel free to leave comments, email me, and if you like this uh, guide, please thumbs up or subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.